You dig? Uh, uh, this is the portion of the show, God damn it, and the segment that we like to call Precise Ice Breaker, Breaker, Breaker. You know what I'm talking about? And for y'all first one, we're going to get into it right, you know, real quick. We got a lot of people that love us, JT and Amaru. You know what I'm talking about? But one thing that I've noticed is we don't all agree. It ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, we shouldn't all agree, man. We should all have, you know, different uh, opinions and all that. But when the facts are in your face, what are you talking about, Precise? I'm talking about facts like, nigga, the food that your bitch ass ate, nigga. When I can prove to you that this shit came from America and nowhere else, not Indonesia, bitch. Not motherfucking Guatemala. Mother well, maybe some shit from Guatemala because that is the Americas. But you know what I'm talking about? Nothing from motherfucking Australia and nothing from Zimbabwe. If you want to go there. Oh, I'm not saying yeah. none of these places haven't done this, but I'm saying none of these places that I just mentioned and a whole bunch of other countries did not have shit for these foods until America sent it to them. So again, who is the original? Who is the aboriginal? Who is the indigenous? I'm not really asking because I know, but I bet you after this, all you got damn Pan-Africaners. I used to be one, you know what I'm talking about? So I understand. So all you Pan-Africaners, you're going to have to answer this one. Let's get it. This is your precise icebreaker number one. And it's on mute, so we're going to start it over. <laughs> So what I didn't know is a lot of y'all come at her speaks and gnashes of the Yahweh sideways for bring the receipts. And a lot of people on the live earlier were saying that Earth speak was lying about these things. But as you can see, we run maize, potatoes, tomatoes, potato, tobacco, sweet potato, chili pepper, chocolate, rice, sugar canes, livestock, things that y'all didn't have. Look at that. Peppers, pumpkin, squash, yams. Come on, I mean, what's Africa? We oh, so y'all thought that it was just like one or two. That you could probably try to fucking debate. No, nigga, he just named 17 fucking foods or more, nigga. For the stable, we stabilize our lives. We help the European and Asian diet just with our what? Corn alone. Jimmy, Jimmy corn. corn. Other types of corn. We helped y'all. We saved y'all. We saved y'all food. Without us, y'all would have died. So we have all the crops here. I'm just saying, don't. I'm not here to argue. Proven. <laughs> so not here to argue. Know is a lot of y'all. Motherfucking all. That's y'all first one, goddammit. That's y'all first one. And then the second one, we're going to goddamn bring to the damn forefront. The facts are the facts. Did y'all hear about Amazon losing a trillion? I didn't yeah. say a million. And I ain't even say a billion, my nigga. I said a <laughs> Them niggas done lost the Rothschild's money, nigga. They finna flip out. <laughs> you lost our money, you bald bitch. You <laughs> lost you lost our pounds, <laughs> you bloke. <laughs> Beat his Dr. Evil ass. <laughs> Hit him in the bald spot. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's our trillion, you saw? <laughs> <laughs> you owe us a quid. <laughs> you right? Shut your bitch ass Where are my shillings? <laughs> you owe me 500 shillings, you bastard. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. I just fucking knocked over my bomb. Very well. <laughs> it's officially a party. 500 it is officially a party. Oh, I should have to no. Mr. Cuffs. Is it Sharon? Sharon. <laughs> All right. Check this out, y'all. Uh, don't mind a, a little bitty feminine boy, but God damn it, he got some. Now about to say what's going on on Amazon, right? Let her rip. Oh, y'all ain't know. Oh, y'all ain't know. Oh, y'all ain't know. That nigga smack his lips like Marcus. That's a big T, God damn me. a uh, big T. Then I have to look they stock guy. Damn. See, that's just going to show y'all. Everybody who ain't rocking with us, I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's going down. Let me not forget to mind you that. We do have more than 80% of the spending power in the United States. 
So technically, whatever the fuck we say goes, it goes. Why someone constantly get tired of fuck with us? So we don't fuck with y'all. Come on. And the crazy part we got the power, is, y'all. This is a small part of our community. Imagine when we get back on that Rose of Hearts type of shit. Well, ain't nobody fucking with y'all shit. Oh, that's what they scared of. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna tell, tell you that Rosa Parks and them, they shut, shut down the whole United, United States. States. But it's, but it's more and more people getting asked, asked the question, hey, hey, do you, you stand, stand with Kyrie? Kyrie? Do you stand, stand with Kanye? Kanye? Yeah. yeah. The, the more, more that, that you folks are telling on yourself, continue to tell on yourself, bro, so my people can wake up. I'm gonna tell you like this, something is happening, but it is orchestrated for those who can really see, you know what I'm talking about. In the background of all this shit, these niggas is doing the reset. And why niggas is looking at this shit, distracting you with religion, nigga telling you about what you already knew. Mm -hmm. They already told you nigga had hair of fucking lamb and your ass is over here arguing about this shit with some motherfuckers that came that you gave that shit to. How the fuck I'm arguing with you? I gave you the shit that you talking about you are. Nigga, what are you talking about? Exactly. I'm arguing with you. Meanwhile, you trying to flip my shit and give me my gold back? And now all the motherfucking so-called woke people are all... We should be on his side. Nigga, he gonna put you in destruction, you dumb fucks. But whatever. I'm just sitting back like, bro, these niggas is crazy, bro. Like, I, I don't... It's a Sharon. Crazy. Sharon. Sharon. Oh, yeah. Mel Gibson yeah. is testifying on the nasty-ass fucking Harvey Weinstein, y'all. So, uh... Just let you know that, uh... These niggas are turning on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to think about. Just something to think about. Bust a major net off that shit. Right? Face oh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He didn't got that Cardi B. Got that damn. I don't know. We got that Megan Thee Stallion probably. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I call this an icebreaker, y'all. But I will say this: This is gonna get us ready for the motherfucking uh, 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 demonstration that I'll be doing for my motherfucking topic. God damn it! Oh, Charlie. Hold up! Hold up! Get it to goddamn share. Big Smoke is in the motherfucking building, y'all. Let's get it, man. Fire-ass show, bro, so far. We are not bullshitting out here. Now, check this out. We've been to talk about these men who like to wear these dresses real quick. Is it Sharon? Now, wasn't Charles and Shaq talking about goddamn Kyrie? Didn't they all say he should be shutting his mouth and all that shit? And, 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 and he's uh unbecoming of this, this, and that and all that bullshit? All right, well, check this out, god damn ya. I'm guessing it's Sharon. No one told me if it's Sharon. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Good old Chuckaroo. <laughs> I should call the nigga Chuckaroo. We know, brother. Who got, got you to put on a wig and dress? dress. Oh, Chuck. We, we know, know you used to be too. That the things you, you do, do for a check, brother. How tall, How tall are you about? What, six, six? Weighing 250 or more. And they got you to put on a dress and some heels. Hold up. This is what your Charlie said. There are a lot of black people who are unintelligent and brainwashed. So why did he feel like he had something to say? You know what I'm saying? It sounds like somebody told him to say those talking points. But that's just me. We know who got you to do that, brother. Yep. And that's what we're going to talk about next. We didn't forget about you either, Shaq, because you know, <laughs> stuff, okay, some questionable stuff. Y'all should be the last ones calling anybody an idiot when you guys will do anything for the coin. Shaq's getting horny, y'all. Man, I wish they had the I wish they had the video where Shaq is humping uh, Kevin Hart. I was just gonna mention that too. I got the video, but it's like, damn, I wish that shit was in there. That let you know a lot too. Yeah, this is Shaq. You know, this is this is just normal. This is just who he is. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Again, man, we're gonna get into this. I just got damn this damn bong. 
I got Charles Barkley. Up, he man. looked like he used to look. He looked like a goddamn a Chinese man in that wig. Ooh, nigga. Oh, nigga look terrible as fuck. You can tell he's been with them like people, it. though. All right, and before we it's motherfucking terrible. get into I showed y'all that with the dresses and everything because we're going to get into, if y'all notice, it says, who is really in charge? And if you got any smarts about yourself or you're using that first motherfucking eye, you're seeing that we got the who as in the use. You know what I'm talking about? And you see it says Israeli, like Israeli. Hello? Israeli use. Anyways. <laughs> she shouldn't have been the whore. <laughs> so, hey, y'all. Before we get into this, man, y'all know I always give y'all a little something from Bobby, the great Bobby Hammett. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, uh, just as I showed y'all the fucking indigenous proof with all the motherfucking uh, food, nigga, Bobby got something to say about this being your land, baby. Just like that. Is it Sharon? Sharon. Sharon. It is indeed, man. Holy ground is where you stand. This is one of the problems we got. We thinking that the continent of Africa is the origin of thinking that the continent of Africa is the home of black people. No, the whole planet is the home of black people. Talk to him, buddy. When you see them Omec heads over here, that tells you, baby. This land is yours. Those same people who said that they went to Africa and they had a spiritual experience, they could go to Vietnam using the same spiritual experience because the spiritual experience is inside of your body. Come on. So that's why the spirit world says, holy ground is where you stand because the temple is inside of you. Not no geographic mass. And the only thing in America show you that, baby, this is your land. Come on. When you go to Vietnam and you see them big black wide lip things in the temple of Ang Inca Wat, they tell you, baby, this is your land. This is your when land, you go to baby. China and you see black Buddhas with peppercorn hair and looking like Leroy Brown on the corner in Dayton, Ohio, that's telling you, baby, this is your land. You see what I'm saying? When you go to Europe and find black figures all over the place, they're telling you, baby, this is your land. Because remember, it was one land mass and one people. This whole planet is ours. And whenever you go all over this planet and you see them black figures everywhere, it means that Holy Grand is not just subjugated to Africa. But don't think that if you go to Africa, that's going to be your spiritual thing. That's ludicrous when people don't even have money to go to Africa. All I'm saying is, don't put my people in fucking one ass fucking place when we're actually the whole planet. That's all I got to say. Niggas is arguing all on Instagram about this shit, like one over the other one. And I'm like, y'all niggas is fucking dumb, bro. Like, what? what is the problem? Yes, you got stuff from America or whatever. You got it over there. You know what I'm saying? We're sharing with each other. Niggas is like, I'm over this one. I'm over that one. I'm like, damn, is y'all going? Niggas going to be beefing and niggas is going to be getting their ass whooped all behind the scenes and shit. Don't even know it. It's ridiculous, man. But let's go on ahead and get into it. Um. What made me go ahead and, 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 and pick the subject this motherfucking Wednesday, man, I, I was just looking around and it's like, damn, niggas, so these niggas look like they having this party. These niggas looking good at their award show. These motherfuckers looking like they, had all the, they got all the bitches and, you know, they got the VIP and all that shit, right? And then when you think about it, it's like, man... We know, we know that the white man got this and that, you know, like how we always say, however, let's get deeper today, man. Let's get deeper because it ain't just the white man. It's the you. Because in the end, that's why it says who's really in charge. Because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> who I is really who's in charge? Who is really or who is really? In charge. Because, see, the thing about it is we see what happened with this Kyrie incident. We see that he didn't, you know, like I said, I ain't following a motherfucker. However, I'm noticing that it is double standards when it comes to our motherfucking people. And that's the part that we don't like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Not like my game. I'm just saying, nigga. Goddamn, nigga. No, you this? That's probably why the nigga like you around. Anyways, no. man. 